NASA's mission to save humanity one day in the future. At least 30,000 asteroids are hurtling around in space, and a critical test Monday may go a long way to ensure that one of those asteroids doesn't one day wipe out the planet. Gio Benitez has more on this key mission and what it means for our future. Hitting an asteroid is a tough thing to do. Humanity has never done that before. Tonight, NASA on the verge of a new frontier in space exploration. And it's something that may one day save us all. We've all seen the disaster movies where we see tidal waves and we have uh, you know, material that's ejected into the atmosphere. It could be a worst case scenario, uh, which is why it's really important to test this. An important test because asteroids do in fact hit Earth. In 1908, on June 30th, a roughly 50 meter sized asteroid hit in a forested area in Siberia called Tunguska. The blast area is roughly the size of the Los Angeles basin. And more recently, in 2013, we had a smaller asteroid just 19 meters across streak above the city of Chelyabinsk in Russia, missed the city, but it did come close and put about 1,500 people in the hospital, collapsed a number of buildings, broke nearly every window in the city. So about a million people got very lucky that day. A direct impact would have leveled the city, and there's countless other threats out there that could have devastating consequences. We've seen asteroids come through the atmosphere and kind of explode and cause some damage. And thankfully so far, nothing recent enough that it really has a large, large impact on our civilization, but it could happen. That's why NASA isn't waiting for humanity's luck to run out. Launching the DART mission aboard SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and DART. The mission lifting off last year has been hurtling towards two asteroids with intertwined orbits called Didymus and Dimorphos, nearly 7 million miles from Earth. Dimorphos is orbiting around Didymus, kind of like the uh, moon orbits around the Earth. Dimorphos may be smaller than Didymus, but it's still big, over 500 feet wide, about the size of a large football stadium. A rock of that size hitting the Earth would have enormous amount of energy if it hits the Earth. Something uh, like that would, would level a small state, a small country. Yeah, you heard that right, a small country. These two asteroids are not a threat to Earth, but scientists say the pair have perfect conditions for this first of its kind test. It's really a zero risk, high reward test of our ability to uh, defend our planet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run a small spacecraft into the smaller of the two asteroids, and it is going to change its velocity by a small amount. These two asteroids are slowly moving around each other. So that tiny little change of velocity that you make to one asteroid, you can see it almost immediately. To make the collision happen Monday, a smaller probe will be jettisoned from the larger spacecraft ramming into the asteroid. NASA will be relying on smart nav technology that includes a sun sensor, star tracker, and rollout solar arrays to keep the spacecraft light. But it comes with a catch. About two minutes out, we have to stop maneuvering and we're moving at six kilometers a second. So if you actually look at that on the map, it's as if we were over the Indy 500 when we stop maneuvering, and then we simply have to coast all the way to Baltimore, and we have to land inside Camden Yards. It's a remarkable amount of precision for a small nudge that could have giant implications for planetary defense if successful. NASA hopes to measure the altered course of the asteroid caused by the collision. Within days here, we should know by exactly how much we've been able to change its velocity. And that's the whole point of the mission. Make a tiny change in the velocity because that's all it takes to protect the Earth in general from most asteroid impacts. And while a successful mission may ensure humanity's ability to deflect a future threat, it's only half the battle. Tracking asteroids in our solar system is key. Now, right now, the vast majority of the asteroids that are large enough to destroy a city are untracked. A sobering reality that will soon change. Our ability is just about to take a quantum leap forward, and that's because the world's largest telescope finding tracking asteroids is just about to have first light next year. Called the Vera Rubin Observatory, it's a joint venture under construction in Chile that will be a game changer in asteroid detection. This telescope is going to track asteroids at a rate about 10 or times more than all other telescopes combined. So that's really going to help us 
find a lot more answers. The observatory and missions like DART offering a last line of defense for our planet to help protect the future of humanity on Earth. While on the ISS, you're struck by the fact that the moon is so many craters there, craters on top of crater. And you go, wait a second, the Earth gets hit more often than the moon. From this point forward, if it happens while we're here, that's not bad luck anymore. That's us not doing our job at protecting this planet. And that's what DART's about. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.